This is a decompression test. Downloaded DaVinci Resolve, and we're going to decompress it with 7-Zip on this Framework 16 running Windows 11, and this ThinkPad W530 running Windows 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter here, start both. Looks like the Framework 16 is done in a little bit more than half the time. All right, both of those are extracted now. Now we'll see how fast each of these opens up from the file browser here. So I have both of them highlighted. We're gonna hit enter and see which one pops up the installer first. Okay, it looks like the ThinkPad actually started. It says it's extracting about 25% right now. This is still thinking about it on Windows 11, but once it gets up and going, done. And that's still about only 70% of the way there. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait on that. I do like that this is lower latency and doesn't just spin a circle at me when I'm trying to do things on it. Get rid of that glare. It makes the ThinkPad feel like there's lower latency than the framework, even though the framework initially finishes the task. This one responds first, so I don't know. We'll see. So here we go. I'm gonna allow these both to make changes. Go. And again, this one immediately responds and this takes, what, five to 10 seconds? Really don't like that it doesn't respond right away, even though I'm sure it's going to install faster. That's really hard to see, but the text clarity on this ThinkPad seems way better. You can see the pixels on it. It's not as high resolution, but that is really sharp. And that is slightly soft on the edges. You can see it, it is higher resolution, but like on the R's, it's just soft on the edges versus sharp. We can get it in focus here. This is the ThinkPad W530 and the framework. It's hard to see, but this is softer. Gonna hit install on both of these, go. Now they both responded instantly. That's great. And the framework is running right through everything whereas the ThinkPad is stuck on processing. So now looks like something caught up. Again, these are both in performance mode, but this one is just sitting. Now it started to go, whereas this one is finally responding how I would expect it to. So this might take a while. Um, other differences that I'm noticing Neither of these seem to be terribly color accurate, although the framework does get brighter and has higher resolution. I need to figure out that text sharpness because it might just be an issue with text or clear type that I need to enable versus the ThinkPad. I do get a little bit more worried about scratching and scuffing this versus the ThinkPad. And we'll see if I can get a fan test in here to show what both of them sound like when they're running at full tilt. Love the keyboard on this so far. Not a huge fan of the keyboard on the framework. However, battery life is much better on this. I'll have gotten about four or five hours today. Keep in mind that is installing a ton of stuff in the background and having Windows updates run, but I've been doing Excel, working online, tons of Chrome tabs open, whereas this laptop is using an aftermarket battery. None of those are very good, but that is going on about two hours of runtime, two and a half hours. So. This is at least double, and once everything's installed and optimized, the Framework 16 should be doing better. And we can see it just finished here. It's gonna set up, looks like it just finished all the prerequisites. Um, and wow, yeah, it's done at this almost the same time on the ThinkPad. So go ahead and click next on that, and this will hopefully show some real differences. Keep in mind, this is using an mSATA SSD, and this one is using a NVMe SSD. So next, gonna hit accept. Next, and we'll go ahead and let it install there. Okay, beginning installation. 
That is nice that I'm finally seeing the Framework 16 responsive while the W530 is kind of hanging for a while. It could be that this solid state drive is close to 85, maybe 90% full. And again, it should be slower. This is a 12 year old laptop. There is Wi-Fi 6 in it. The thermal paste has been redone, but this is far, far newer. So this is done, completed the setup. I'm gonna go ahead and click finish on that, on the framework. Looks like it's finishing up a couple more things or maybe it started a second time. I'm gonna go ahead and restart. This guy's still going. So looks like this is faster. Some of those latency issues are gone on the framework 16. Although when we were initially decompressing it, this W530 for some reason was responding a lot faster while Windows 11 was hanging. Okay, well, we already know this is gonna take significantly longer. Looks like it's almost done, but I'm gonna pause the video and restart both machines and see how long it takes to launch. Okay, this one lasted significantly longer, or sorry, this one loaded a few seconds earlier than this one did when they restarted. I think I want to try that again and see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and click restart on both. This has a second delay just because I had to click restart anyway. It was claiming someone was still logged into it. So we'll see what happens this time. Now we have this hanging. Okay, framework is done. and the ThinkPad is done. Kind of surprising, this does take half a dozen seconds on the ThinkPad W530 to restart, um, but honestly, with the improvements over the last 10 years, I would have expected this to take, I don't know, five seconds to restart. Here we go launching DaVinci Resolve. I don't know why this is hanging. Now you can't see it, but that little bar it's also not working. Okay, so this one is launched. It did have a thing in the corner that said it's switching maybe from the APU to the dedicated GPU. And this one we have still loading. So again, definitely slower, but why does this have kind of this level of latency? When I click for something to happen, it waits a while and then it has a spinning circle. I would rather see this not have that kind of lag. Here we are running a benchmark with 30,000 fish. This is the WebGL aquarium sample. Screen is a lot nicer over here. Color-wise, just has better saturation. And we have about 40 frames per second here and 11 frames per second on the W530. Pretty jittery. I'm not hearing either one of them crank up anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if full screen helps. Here we are at full screen. We're gonna see how long it takes these to ramp up. I can hear the framework on the right. And a much softer tone coming from the W530 on the left. Might take a second for them to heat up more. At this point, I'm not sure what's happening. If this is just throttling to try and stay in some sort of power saving mode or what, it does have about 30% of the battery life left, but it is at eight frames per second, 
whereas the ThinkPad W530 is at 11 frames per second. Not sure what is happening there. And we did exit out of DaVinci Resolve, so neither of these are running that. But the frame rate on this just dropped like crazy. Same thing on the ThinkPad, but, well, it's the same as the ThinkPad now. So, no idea what's going on. Maybe I need to run through a few more Windows updates that didn't quite get done. The drivers have been installed with the Framework 16. But anyway, thanks for watching this extended video. Wanted to run through a few things, and I figure everyone should just examine their workflow, run a few basic tests, and see what the framework is like in real life. Thanks.